Michael Dickman is a senior lecturer at Cranfield School of Management. How important is it for companies to be aware of cultural differences? I think it's very important and the reason is you want to avoid misunderstandings between you know different cultures. These could be down to the way people speak and communicate. So if an English say person says it's not too bad, he or she might mean this is excellent, this is brilliant. I as a German or others would understand well it's sort of mediocre, it's not very good, is it? Okay? So you want to avoid just simply language misunderstandings, or you want to uh, avoid cultural misunderstandings. For example, Siemens, the German uh, multinational, had a big problem two years ago uh, in relation to their ethics and using bribes in Africa. Now, if I talk to my students here sometimes, the Nigerians call it PR, public relations. It's a normal thing in their business systems to pay bribes. Yeah. Now, it isn't a normal thing for a multinational from a Western country to pay bribes. So how should people behave? So cultural understanding and ethical behavior goes hand in hand. Where do you think cultural differences are most noticeable in a business context? There are um, certain areas that are immediately no noticeable in a business context. For example, how polite you are and how punctual you are. Yeah. Um, people realize this and they actually start to assume bits and pieces about you if you're not punctual you might not be disciplined or something like that so it's important to realize those one level deeper in terms of uh, norms and values uh, there are certain things that are really important in business life and these are much more difficult to realize for example um, there is a researcher uh, who is called Gerd Hofstede. He distinguishes between power distance, high and low. High power distance means that you wouldn't critique your boss. You would listen and even if you had a different opinion, you wouldn't voice it and you would do what your boss tells you to do. Okay. Um, if you're from a low power distance country, uh, like Denmark, and you go to a high power distance country like Japan or Nigeria or South America, the countries all there have a high power distance, and you speak up against your boss, that is a big problem. Okay, It's not expected and the boss feels attacked. Uh, and reverse, Okay, you go from, let's say, Venezuela to Denmark or Sweden uh, or Holland or low power distance countries, and you don't say something um, when you object uh, and you simply do it and then things don't turn out all right, then you can't actually say, well, I wasn't in favor of it, I just did it because my boss said I should do it. No, you have to actually either voice it when the boss makes this sort of uh, demand on you or uh, it's you agreed implicitly to your boss. So both moves can create problems. Do you have examples of different cultural approaches in international business? Uh, it's sad there is a hamburger approach to performance management and to critiquing people. So in the US, uh, if you made a mistake, uh, you're being asked into the office of your boss and the boss will say something like, we appreciate you and uh, it's great that you joined us and we had really uh, good reasons and your your performance is really well so it's a sort of upper bun of a hamburger and then he or she will continue to say uh, but last week this is what we believe you could improve you made wrong so the crit criticism comes which is the meat and then the the language uh, the conversation will be wrapped up by uh, approaches around and we continue to trust you uh, we know you will be able to rectify this error and your performance will be good. So this is the lower one and then you go out of the office. Um, in Japan, you would only get a bun and no meat, which means you'd be asked to enter the office of your boss. The boss talks to you about how much he or she appreciates you and your performance for the company and you'll be asked to leave again. Now, the very thing that you've been asked to the boss to meet the boss and talk to the boss is something that makes you think 
oh my God, there's something wrong. So you don't get meat, but you're meant to actually realize what the meat is. Yeah? And it saves your face, of course. Now in Germany, uh, the hamburger is just the meat. So you're getting, being asked to get into the boss's office, you're being told off and you get out of it again. So you have three different shapes of hamburgers. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that is important to understand in terms of when you work in these countries.